David. Well, I think we need to define, first of all, what church-state separation actually means. So what it means is the church does not control the state and the state does not control the church or the churches. Um, now, everybody would agree that Australia is a country that has separated church and state. But in Australia, um, church-run schools, it could be Anglican, it could be Catholic, it could be Presbyterian, whatever, are funded by the state. Not fully, but to a, gr uh, to a very great extent. And nobody says this violates church-state separation. The Netherlands is a very liberal country where church and state are also separated. 60% of primary schools in the Netherlands are church-run and state-funded. So do you think the church and state are separated here? But yes, I do. I do. And you see, money must follow the wishes of the public. And if there's sufficient demand for church-run hospitals or church-run schools by whichever church, then the money must follow the, uh, the uh, taxpayer. Um, if it comes to a point where there isn't sufficient demand for this type of education, um, and in that case, the state says, OK, um, the public doesn't want this anymore, and we would draw funding from the, these schools. The, I mean the, so I think, that, I think that ultimately is what has to be the case. The there are far, but by the way, there, there are far too many Catholic schools in the country. That's 100 percent the case. The number of Catholic schools in the country most certainly needs to be reduced to more fully reflect the type of Ireland we are now. So, so the number of schools which are Catholic run needs to be reduced okay. by. Well,